Hello everybody, this is BSCAT100, and as I move my mic, welcome back to some more Tokyo Mirage Sessions Fire Emblem. In the previous episode, we had finished off Tsubasa's. No, yes, yes, we had finished off Tsubasa's final side story. Um... And she got her solo uh, concert debut. That's what it was. Uh, in this episode, we are going to do Yashiro's side stories. I think I'm just going to try to push it all the way through. So, strap in. It's going to be a ride. If you like what you see, leave a like down below. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. And share with your friends that can join in on this investigation. Now, before we start, Ayaha actually ha makes remarks. Just like the... the the, 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 the mirages do. For Tsubasa to make such a stellar debut. Oh, I hope I can get back to work soon. My dream is to have a sister's duet. Unfortunately, we don't see that in this game, but that would be really cool. Alright. Oi, the energy I need to continue being active is dwindling. Do something about it. Does that mean you're hungry? No, the energy I need is simply dropped beyond acceptable levels. <sighs> Alright, so why are you in the state? I haven't replenished my energy these past few days due to conflicts in my schedule. I'm not sure what's going on, but are you saying that you haven't eaten in days? Wait, how'd you even get, in, you even get by until now? Aside from show business, all my mis uh, miscellaneous affairs were left to my siblings. And what happened to this assistant of yours? I dismissed him. He was against my transfer to Fortuna after all. <clears throat> Tell me, how do you... How do you people normally fend all starvation? Calling it starvation is a bit extreme, but I guess I go to a cafe when I'm hungry. Other than that, though... A cafe. I see. Understood. Jeez, Yashiro! How do you not eat in days? I'm worried about him. Memory? Itsuki, Yashiro collapsed in front of the cafe. So he didn't make it. Please come at once. Got it. Can I meet Yashiro? I do apologize, I seem to be a little stuffed up today. I have no idea where it came from. What? Oh, right. You know what? Well, I might as well take it while we're here. Well, what should I do? Do you know you can get a stuffed doll of Dia Witch's partner, Kirin, at this very pharmacy? But I lost my stamp cards. I need them to turn in. Baba got them for me. Huh? You'll help me look for them? Well, thank you. I need three stamp cards to trade in, and I lost all three of them. So that's what the stamp cards are for. Okay, well, we already have two. So if we come across the third one... Or when we come across the third one, we'll hand them in. No problem. Oh, hi, Mamori. Itsuki! Where's Shiro? I had someone passing by help me. We managed to get him inside the cafe. Please come with me.
<sighs> Ooh. Do. How you feeling? You're no problem. So all I must do is come here from now on, correct? Yeah, but how can you be so uninformed? There's no need for it. Until now, I've only lived thinking of how to perfect my craft. And again, I've had no one teach me such things. Oh, that's right. It's been five years since he passed away. Had my father still been around, the situation would not have changed much. Prove only your acting skills. That was what my father taught me. <laughs> that does sound like something your father would say. Thus, everything else is unnecessary. It isn't unnecessary! What? Even though I can only use a microwave as someone involved in a cooking show, I cannot let that comment pass! Oh boy. How is this cafe capable of providing this many kinds of food? What is the meaning of this? Tony is an important part of being an actor. The food programs, travel shows, even a drama role may require it. That's why eating can never be called unnecessary. No matter what you eat, Yashiro, you're expressionless. It's very boring. No one could ever enjoy a dining scene like that. I think you failed at it. I'm sorry, I... No, well, Minamoto, there is indeed truth in, to your, in your words. In that case, I'm trying a food report. You eat something and say what you think about it. Allow me to try it at once, or so I would like to say. I have no idea how to go about this. Right, show me an example first. Try eating that ramen. Me? Alright. Suki finished the ramen. How is it? The thick soup mixes with the noodles, creating a perfect balance. I see. It's a seafood style soup. The roasted pork melts in my mouth. The cooked bamboo shoots add a nice, crunchy texture. It's delicious. I think you can eat such ramen in a cafe like this. Or something like that. That was quite expressive. I see. This is what a food report is like. Well then, tell me about this cake next. I want to hear it too. Alright. Itsuki's getting fat. Itsuki finished the cake. Your thoughts? Softness of the sponge cake and the delicate texture of the carefully whipped cream. I feel as though I'm going back to sleep in a warm bed under the gentle sunlight of spring. The strawberries are also fresh, and their slight sourness brings the cake's flavor all together. It's heavenly. Or something like that. Hmm. Yashiro? I believe I get the gist of it. The secret to the food report is an overwhelming power of description that conveys what you taste to the viewer, as well as a relentless power of expression that speaks directly to the viewer's heart.
Shiro Tsurugi's soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening, I guess, by watching us eat, why not? As they can form as new performa palette uh, epiphany. You grasp the essence just by watching Itsuki. That was more simple than eating breakfast. You just ate with lunch, though. This moment, your doors have been opened for my craft. I wish to try various dishes at once in order to fully grasp this sensation. If you'll excuse me. Interesting. I guess we did it. <laughs> we got a message. Big brother, you tipped a new performa. Yada yada yada. What does it take part of or take form of? Door of hunger. Of course it does. I'm doing my own food tasting of this delicious soup. Homemade soup, actually. My dad made it. They're very good. I can't be as expressive because I kind of just slurp it down. I like food, I just can't describe the tastes of food. We're of hunger. I present my food report. Savor it. A reading skill that reveals new possibilities in Yoshiro Surugi. <laughs> A fist bump, really? All right, short. The new rating skill, Door of Hunger, has been realized. What is it? When I was starving, why did you say nothing? Whatever I said would not have changed the situation for the better. That's why I remained silent. I see. <laughs> Even I never saw further meaning in dining beyond taking in the necessary nutrients. However, I now see that it can be held in a different light. This is what makes performing art so intriguing. So there is so much to learn from both you and myself. It would seem so. I'm literally just using the same voice now because they're all freaking low. <laughs> what? No. もちろんだよ、マモリン。どうかな、ヤシロ君。こ、これは
その後に不意打ちのようにほとばしる肉汁の絨毯爆撃これはもはや味のバトルロイヤル口の中で繰り広げられる手に汗握る攻防戦うまいうーまーいぞーすごいやマモリンやっぱりレンチンは魔法だね僕の心の温めもスイッチオンだあっちょっとあっちょっとあっちょっとあっちょっとあっちょっとあいや、あなたは本当に驚きました。お前の手本を使っていたのは、私たちの手本を使っていたのは、私たちの手本を使っていたのは、私たちの手本を使っていたのは、私たちの手本を使っていたのは、私たちの手本を使っていたのは、Unfortunately, resulting in my weight increasing 44 pounds! You went that far? At least, man, I had to lose the same amount of weight. It's as simple as that. So, this is what a first class actor is capable of doing. That is correct, a w a y This is what a true artist is. From a Perspective, I guess it. Oh well, the hungry man is complete. From a perspective, I guess that could be considered what an artist is. Maybe somebody that's kind of in over their head, though. Like, all they live is their art. Excuse me. Oh, 51 for Itsuki! Shiro Tsurugi has grown as an entertainer and has become proud gourmet. We see your Tsurugi acquire the ad lib performance, The Hungry Man. I forgot what triggers that, though. Like, what type of attack? Alright, Lesson Studio. Let's jump right into to the second one. Well, almost. I never thought that the act of eating could somehow be entertaining. This whole business never ceases to amaze. I have no comments. Honestly, I kind of just agree with, that, with everything that everybody's saying. Theater World is a very vast place. Or performance. Performing arts, excuse me. Sorry. You came at a good time. Mizuru isn't being of any use. I need to, you to speak with her. Mmm. 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 -mm. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. While I do have all three unlocked, uh, it's it's not time for that yet. I don't, I don't have the levels for it. Wow, I didn't. Um. Let me see. What can I do? <laughs> Hmm. 
This was in Shibuya. Spot Torn Pocket. Well, let's collect the last stamp card. Should be <clears throat> right around here. There it is. So, one is in Harajuka in front of the crib place. One is on the Tobo rooftop backstage. And one is right here. And that is all of them. I guess we'll start chapter five. I didn't expect to be done this quickly. I could also leave it as a short episode. Uh, maybe. Suki gives the stamp card to the girl. You found a card? Thank you, sir. Oh, hey, that's all of them. Thank you. Now I can trade these for a Kureen doll. We got pharmacy beads. Torn pocket. What do the pharmacy beads do? Let us find out. Pharmacy bees raid raises EP. Okay, that might be useful actually. How much would I lose? I would lose four strength. You know what? I'm going to... He's telling me what's happening. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Screw it. Let's start. Let's start chapter five. Hi. どうしたんだよ急にレッスンスタジオなんかに呼び出して。Something the matter? You call me to the lesson studio so suddenly. It's in regards to your acting with a rebe in the Idolosphere. You practice more, you can do far better. I'll be training you until you can manage a decent performance. Try acting it out right now. Oh, hold on a sec. I don't have the script with me, and I barely remember the lines. I'll simply reset the seat. That should serve to remind you. Huh? Even if I have to turn against the world, I would choose you over the seven billion people on this planet. I really do remember all of it. Of course. Regardless of my role, every production I contribute to becomes a part of who I am. Yep. 100% agree with that. And anyway, try acting out the scene. I'll fill in for Ruby's part. 
Got it. This is it. We're going to lose each other, aren't we? Looks like our paths have drifted too far apart. Stop! Just saying the line is not enough. Don't simply read the script. Say the words as though they were your own. The performance in the Idolosphere was far better than this. Care to explain, Aoi? Well, we were in a pretty tense situation, so I was caught up in the moment. Shouldn't be any different now. The true actor performs each and every scene as if their life depended on it. Let's continue. We will start once more from that line. Got it. Looks like our paths have drifted too far apart. Yes, a clear improvement. But you are still not quite there. Once more. Looks like our paths have drifted too far apart. Still not there! You can do better than that! We're not leaving until I'm satisfied with your performance. Fine by me. Intermission end. Ishiro Surugi's casual clothes have been added as the costume lesson mode. Chapter 5 True Colors. Miss Maiko, I forgot to mention it, but after we defeated that Mirage at Dallas studio, we picked up this thing. Is that what I think it is? What Itsuki has here is a piece of something called the Dragonstone. Dragonstone? Itsuki might be able to regain her memories with this. Truly. Truly. Let's go see Tiki. Oh, big brother. And everyone, what's the matter? By the way, Tiki, I want you to take a look at this. A rock? I feel like I've seen this before. What is this? I... What's wrong? Open your eyes, Tiki. Tiki. Is buffet really that tasty? Did she just fall asleep? Looks like it. Thank goodness. Tiki's still not waking up. Yeah. You don't think that Dragonstone thing might have actually really hurt her? There's nothing to worry about. She's going to be fine. There's no way it could cause her harm. 
If it returns some sort of memories, she's just a little overloaded with information right now. Her memories? It's very likely that the shards of the Dragonstone are the keys to Tiki's lost memory and her powers. Really? I believe Tiki's Dragonstone shattered after the Master's appearance five years ago. I found a shard myself not long after. Met Tiki pretty soon after that, but she had already lost all her memories and powers. When she came in contact with the shard I had then, some of them were restored. The stone and the girl are clearly connected, but what of the Ultraloid software hardly seems irrelevant. Sharp as ever, Yashiro. You could say that the Ultraloid Tiki is an anchor that allows her to remain in this world. The strength she regained from that one piece of dragonstone I had wasn't enough to maintain her form. Tiki existing in this world, Tiki needs an immense amount of performance. That's why I made the Ultraloid Tiki. Now she's supported by performer born from passion of the public. Unless her power is stirred. I see. Thought you had to help us out, and there was a bit of trial and error at first, but it's better. Makes sense? Yes, I understand now. And after our last operation, we came across a second Dragonstone shard for Tiki. She should be able to regain all her memories if we can gather the remaining pieces. It does beg the question, however, of why that Mirage had a shard at all. Everyone, the show's about to start! Oh, jeez, already? Come on, we better get comfortable. Uh, I'm so nervous. This year, our company will be welcoming its 50th anniversary. The spread of the internet has vastly increased the ways in which people can acquire entertainment and information. Unless lifestyles begin to shift, we in the television industry must change to better suit the needs of our audience. That is why I come to one conclusion. The networks must rely not merely, com uh, must not merely compete, but learn to cooperate as well. As a first step in this new direction, we have united the forces of each network to bring you a grand experience. Enter Kingdom. It will span Tokyo itself, and events will run at Shibuya 106, Daito TV Station, and Daiba Studio throughout. At Shibuya 106, we will hold a live concert produced by Yatsufusa Hatanaka, called Music Fest. At Daito TV Station, we will hold a stage performance directed by Quentin Tirancino called Musical Fest. At Daiba Studio, we will hold a fashion shoot produced by Nobu Horinozawa called Muse Fest. And on the final day, comedians will gather to the Comedy Coliseum at the Cosmic Egg with Taren Gojin as host. We will also hold many limited time events throughout the entire expo to many different areas. I wish for everyone to enjoy all the different kinds of entertainment on offer, from music to comedy. 
人々に楽しんでいただきたいのです最後 Finally, we will be featuring the up and coming idol Subasa Oribe as our spokesmodel for the event. Mr. Oribe is scheduled to participate in many of the events, starting with Muse Fest. Thank you for selecting me for such an important role. I hope I don't let anyone down. But I would like to give it up my all to make this huge event a, a success. And, um, anyway, I hope you all have fun. Thank you, thank you. Now then, everyone, I hope you look forward to Enter Kingdom. With this, your fame is going to skyrocket. You've got a lot of events to handle besides Muse Fest, so you'll be super busy. I hope you're ready. Yes, I'll do my best to make Enter Kingdom a big success. Kiryu and Mamori, you two are participating in Music Fest. Right. I'll give it my all and sing with all my heart. Yashiro and Ellie, you two are participating in musical fests. This will be nothing compared to the silver screen. You better be ready, Yashiro. I always act to the utmost of my ability. That's all there is to it. And Toma, you're going to be in the Hero Fest that's taking place in the middle. Start psyching yourself up. Yes, ma'am. Fantastic. Come on, everyone. Let's go out on the town tonight. Drinks are on me. Miss Maiko, I think that's more for you than for us. Sebastian Ruby's casual clothes have been added as the costume Heartful Breeze. Kyria's casual clothes have been added as the costume Excellence. I was wondering when we were going to get those costumes. And bada bing, bada boom. Welcome. So a few days later. Welcome to Enter Kingdom. Stuff for Maiko. Alright. Yes, I know Maiko. Yo, home slice, what's grooving? What's the haps? <laughs> Just chillin', dog. <laughs> so, Enter Kingdom has finally started, huh? Tsubasa is pretty much the talk of the city, and now that she's a spokesmodel for an event like as big as this. She really is. You know, the reason Tsubasa could take advantage of all her opportunities was because you were there. What are you talking about? Thanks to you for getting her, her, work, her work for her. Tsubasa's own efforts, not mine. Well, yeah, Tsubasa definitely gave it her all. But I feel like we were able to get all these good results because you were there helping her. And ever since you joined our company, Kiria and Toma have been getting, thing, getting more work. They're even trying new things. I just wanted to say, keep it up! And that goes for me as well. I'm not really sure what you mean, but I do plan on continuing what I've been doing. One more thing, they're holding events in... Come on already. Um, they're holding events in other places than Shibuya, you know. You should try and give them all a visit. So... Welcome to... Oh my goodness, even that has changed. Uh, welcome to... The map or like everything for the next chapter 
And some more, if I remember correctly, some more requests open up when entering chapter 5. Um, we can still get around to anywhere that we want. We still have the cast if we want to go into the arena. Like, everything's fine. Um, just, everything is different. What's up, Barry? Hey, Tsuki, have you checked the Caribbean lately? It looks like they got some new stuff for sale. It's your job to buy a present from Emery. As a, as a lord, you have a duty to make sure she's nicely dressed. Is that supposed to be a pun? Oh, no. He, he knows about everything. Yep, got some new requests. Konnichiwa. Amaya, where at Tsuki City? Did you come to Shibuya a lot? I've been just telling people's fortunes as they pass on by. I mean, I got a huge list of things to do and all, but I can't stop using my gift. I'm just begging to be used, you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I knew I could count on something. Everybody stand back. Uh huh? There it is. Be patient. Your situation will undergo many changes, but if you persevere, your efforts shall eventually pay off. Or I guess if you want the quick fix. As it were, my money's on. Go check behind the misty stage. Go be go check behind the misty stage. You got one lone dancer there. I suppose we could check out some stuff while we're here. Yes. What do we got? Oh, we got a lot. That expensive. This is all stats. All stats, HP, EP, and luck. Oh, it's Suki. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. I don't think I need that per se. Good to know it's around. I could get more strength. Well, we got the stuff here. If if you guys are interested. <laughs> I'll go off screen and see what we need. Uh next let's go to oh yeah, there's like confetti on the map because of everything. Let's go back to Anzu and see what costumes I'm like. I know something I'm on for Yashiro, like no doubt. Suki still has nothing. I can wave an apron for Yashiro. No, I do not. Now we got four memoirs. And now it's time to do the library. Enter Kingdom and Emotional Key. And who kingdom? Right, we're just the emotional key. Uh, this is why I have so many mount marks. Because it can take forever to try to get through this lottery in the later stages. 
Anytime now. You know, game, I still have stuff to do. There it is, emotional key. And this is what I do off screen. Just mashing the button until I get everything. Oh, that's right, I'm just gonna check. Like oh. uh, 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 this direction I think that's all for here. Oh yeah, what's up, Miss Michael? Suki, why don't you take some time to look around the event? Things like this don't happen all the time, you know. Maybe not so much for Yoshiro and Kiria, but I'm sure the others must be nervous about it. Try to give them serious support. Yeah. So we gotta go around and talk to everybody. That's basically what she's saying. I'm just going around looking for requests. back here at some point because we're gonna get the ability to break those unbreakable walls soon it's nice Subasa wow they cleaned this place up really nice ah here he is hey thanks for the help last time I got another favor to ask you can you help me out cool thanks Let's talk it later at the same spot and come down a bit. So we need to go back to Shibuya. Calm now, let's get down to business. I fell in love with another non human. Well, you got your tongue again? I mean, it happened once before, so it shouldn't be a surprise, right? More or less the same as last time, I somehow wandered into a world on the other side of that weird gate, and that's where I met her, a non human girl who was staring at a monitor. Press simple, talk to her again. Strange world with a bunch of monitors. So again, like, right inside. Mm, 
Oh no, it's... <coughs> I'm just collecting all the requests right now, so we can complete them as we go along. Hello there, thank you so much for helping me out last time. The urban legend is a hit, but I'm thinking we can really turn Siren into a place where people can relax. What we need is a soda that restores youth. What do you say, wanna help? Shibuya Elixir. Alright, thank you. So I'm thinking we need a super controversial ingredient, Soma Chocolate. But I'll need three of them. We have three. We have five, actually. So much, I'll take these to the kitchen right now. And if you like, I have a fresh cup. I'll be waiting. Quest complete. One more. New ca uh, item at the cafe, Moon Raga. And with that, once we complete Lucky Spot 5, that's all the stuff in Shibuya. The Tama Observatory, we don't have it yet. That's done. Harajuka's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. We still need to do that. No, we didn't. We didn't go to the Zydo TV station yet. Oh, everything's happening here. I don't want to talk to anybody yet. That Momoko, she's flicking on me again. The musical's starting soon. Oh, you again. You seen Momoko? Dating disaster. You see her somewhere, let me know. Alright, so, yeah, one more thing to do. I think at the beginning of next episode, we're kind of just going to go uh, one by one by one and, like, knock out these requests. That way, we'll probably have a little bit more experience, and then we can just plainly focus on doing the main story. Here. Hi, Maiko. Alright, well, that solves that problem. Yeah, Barry. What? Sup, Bear Goodman on the scene. Currently lined for a Roha event in. Any person that disturbs the peace of the line is unworthy of the title of fan. Currently trading some collector cards with my little fellow comrades. Waiting in line wasn't so bad. Uh, that is an important act, uh, fact, actually, that ba that Barry is in line somewhere. Just remember that for later. But we're going to end it off here. In the next episode of Tokyo Mirage Sessions, we are going to just kind of knock out the requests that we have one by one, and probably talk to everybody and initiate the next plot point. That'll be it for the, though. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.